Celebrate God with your voice. Celebrate God in all that you do, and He will be with you. Listen to Him with your eyes. Listen to Him with your heart. Listen to Him as He speaks with you, and He will be with you. Touch Him in all those you love. Touch Him in all those you love. Touch Him in them and let them touch you, and He will be with you. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good, Good morning, morning, Father. This Mass is offered for all souls in purgatory by Sharon and family. And also we pray for all the souls, especially for all the priests and religious who may be lost in this world on this day offered by Agnes Shanti Mohan and family. We also pray for the intention of Benny and Rosie and John C and the family. We also pray for intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and for a job, intention of Lakshmi for a mother conversion, deliverance from all the evil. And also we pray for the intention of parish priest, Father Anthony, for good health by Agnes Shanti Mohan and family. For all the priests and religious intentions by Vinita and Nikita, and thanksgiving to God for all the priests and religious in this world by Vinita and Nikita. Thanks to St. Anthony and Mother Mary for the feast of all the priests and especially for our parish priest by parishness. Thanksgiving to Almighty God for the gift of priesthood to our parish priest by parish council members. Thanksgiving to Almighty God on the birthday of Father William Rosario and also for the gift of priesthood for him by Nirmala, Pradeep and family. Thanksgiving to Almighty God on the birthday of Remo Jude by Jude Vasanti and family. Thanksgiving to St. Anthony by Juliana and family. And also especially we pray for all the priests in the in the world that God has given to us for the gift of the priesthood, very especially for the priest who are working in the Archdiocese of Bangalore, and also for our archbishops, emeritus, for our bishop, present archbishop, for all our parish priests and the priest of Archdiocese of Bangalore. We especially offer on this day the feast of John Maria Biani, who has been the patron for all the priests. Let us begin the celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To your sisters and brothers, the first Sunday of August, the Holy Mother Church dedicated that Sunday as John Mary Vianney's Sunday for all the priests of the world. And today, the 4th of August, is a very special day of John Maria Vianney, the day he was born in the world that God has created, so-called heavenly world, after his death. So that today we offer this feast and offer the very specially for all the priests. Earlier, this was feast only for the parish priests and diocesan priests. Now, Pope declared this day will be a day for all the priests in the world who have received the gift of ordination a consecration life. So very specially we offer each and every priest, the working missionary, the priests who are there in the cities, in the parishes, in institutions, everywhere. So let the mission continue, the God be with them, keep them safe for celebrate his holy liturgy, the holy sacraments, because the priests are very easily being taken control by Satan because of the emotion that world creates. That is what God has made. 
and Jesus also being so emotional, the Satan also wants to control Jesus through his emotion. But Jesus being God, he came out of all this temptation. The same grace that God has to give for every anointed person. And St. John Mary Vianney may intercede for each and every one of them. And very especially today, as we offer this Holy Eucharist for all the priests, it's not the just priests who receive the ministerial ordination. The priest is responsible of the entire congregation whom he has given baptism, for whom he has given the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Because every priest stands responsible for thousands of the people, thousands of the souls. So God has entrusted to him more than the guardian angels. He has entrusted to them more than the mighty power of angels because they are next to God himself. So let us pray to God to consecrate their life, to purify life, keep them safe, keep them holy. And also very specially, many of the priests during this pandemic time, they lost their lives. Many have become the sick. May God grant them eternal rest to all those priests. And also God may give the strength to continue his mission and ministry because more than priests have friends, priests have got a lot of enemies because the Satan controls the world and people, even the parishes, institutions, they are against the priest because priest is the one who stands in the center and all the enemies joins together, make priest as a common enemy. So Satan takes control. So for this very specially we pray and also God may give the forgiveness and grace to them to come out of all the evil. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, with the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest St. John Maria Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant me pray that through his intercession example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel. Write in a book all the words that I have spoken to you. For thus says the Lord, Your hurt is incurable and your wound is grievous. There is none to uphold your cause, 
no medicine for your wound, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you. They care nothing for you. For I have dealt you the blow of an enemy, the punishment of a merciless foe, because your guilt is great, because your sins are flagrant. Why do you cry out your hurt? Your pain is incurable, because your guilt is great, because your sins are flagrant, I have done these things to you. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will restore the fortunes of the tents of Jacob, and have compassion on his dwellings. The city shall be rebuilt upon its mount, and the palace shall stand where it used to be. Out of them shall come songs of thanksgiving, and the voices of those who make merry. I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will make them honored, and they shall not be small. Their children shall be as they were of old, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all who oppress them. Their prince shall be one of themselves. Their ruler shall come forth from their midst. I will make them draw near, and he shall approach me. For who would dare of himself to approach me, says the Lord. And you shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. Responsorial Psalm. Our response shall be, The Lord shall build up Zion. He will appear in all his glory. The, the Lord shall build up Zion. He will appear in all his glory. The nations shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the earth's king your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he will appear in all his glory. Then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. Our response? The Lord shall build up Zion. He will appear in all his glory. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy place on high, Look down from heaven to the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to death. Our response? The, the Lord shall build up Zion. He will appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall dwell untroubled and their descendants established before you. May the name of the Lord be proclaimed in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem when peoples and kingdoms are gathered as one to offer their worship to the Lord. Our response? The Lord shall build up Zion. He will appear in all his glory. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time, Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do you disciples transgress in traditions of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat. And he called the people to him and said to them, 
hear and understand. Not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of a mouth, this defiles a man. Then the disciples came and said to him, Do you know the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? He answered, Every plan which my father, who is in heaven, has not planted, will be rooted up. Let them alone, they are blind guides. And if a blind man leads a blind man, both will fall into a pit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Prophet Jeremiah's word, we should listen. God says, Jeremiah, go on, speak to those people who are become a stiff neck to them. You go and say, if really they love me, they have to turn back, come to me, and I will restore the house of Jacob, that means the Israelites, once again, the blessings. So God has so many warnings He's giving to them. So many outstanding statements He makes to them of His love. Still, people are not bothered about it. Still, they say, we want to live in our own way, not according to the way of God. Your sisters and brothers, this is not just only the word of the people who are living in Judah or Israel. It's even happening in our own world. The pandemic started. We heard it's in the month of November 2019, but in India, it's in our own country. We heard it's been started in February, something like that. Church has been closed. No mass, no sacraments. Priest has been restricted not to move out of the compound, not to go for house blessings. So, so many things happening, but still, people will not come to realization why these things are happening. According to the Jewish custom and the tradition, if the temple is not there in that particular place, God is not there. Temple is important. That's what Prophet Jeremiah is saying, that temple, the temple will be destroyed. People get wild reason. If the temple is not there, God is not there. That means God not going to be in this country, he says. People are about to kill him. But today we have become so ignorant, so lethargic. Okay, we are happy with the online streams mass, online mass. Not even curious to ask when the church will open, when the priest will give the holy sacrament. Not even bothered. Not even bothered to get into online mass too, or recorded mass. What's happening? Same thing happening in the time of Jeremiah. It's happening now. Have we gone any time introspection why these things are happening? First time in the history of the Holy Mother Church, the church has been closed. The priests are staying only in the presbytery, not able to move out to give the sacraments, even anointing of the sick. You have seen the beautiful thing is our funeral. The funeral is a sacred for us. Today the funeral has been not given to the people because of fear, restriction from the government from the church authorities. It is not that people may use the word, may say, oh, priests are frightened. My dear sisters and brothers, imagine, your parish has got one priest, and each in parish has got one priest. Archdiocese of Bangalore has got only 120 priests, but we have 155 churches. If you lose your priest, entire congregation will be lost. But we are not come to realization we are very easy to mock criticize, grumble, than getting introspection why this evil is happening around the world. Why don't we repent? Why don't we come out of our sin? We justify our act. We speak about ourselves. We are in perfect. The other fellow is not perfect. That's our sin. Everybody, one or the other way, we are in sin. Internally, we are sin. In thinking pattern, we are sin. In our action pattern, we are sin. There is no charity nowadays. There is no hospitality nowadays. There is no love in nowadays. There is no sharing nowadays. Where we have, why? There are fidelity we are lacking between husband and wife, sincerity, truthfulness, transparency is not there. So much of sin everywhere. Hick and crook make a business. Hick and crook make my family to come up, my children to grow, get visa, get this, get that. 
where I have my sisters and brothers, not even bothered about our family share, about our parents, destroy, sell the property, case against parents, divorce letter against our own spouse. Where are we? These are the sins that are coming up so badly. And one of the reasons in the Old Testament we see something this happens with sin, but Jesus has taken all the sin, there is no any curse, but yet God has given the freedom, misusing, exploiting the freedom we are facing this crisis, this problem. The pandemic has come to show, come back to God, take a U-turn, metanoia. Still we are not bothered. Our children have become lazier than lazier. Comments are coming, we are very happy with the online mass. We are very happy that priests are not inviting us, we are not going to church. We are very happy that we are not giving good contribution, not putting in the dumb box during the mass time, when at home, no need of putting money in a thing. It's good that priest is not giving fires to us, doing the homily, correcting us. Good that we're sleeping at home, taking rest, taking for grant, because I'm doing job, so I'm sleeping, I'm taking rest. Where are we, my dear sisters and brothers? We have to think about it. If you are suddenly come to know that your heart is weak, you're breathless, haven't you take any medicine? Haven't you rushed to the hospital? Then why don't you feel spiritually or weak? There is no mass. You don't have that sense. Don't have that fear. I have to go. I have to speak. At least make a phone call. At least read the Bible. At least listen here. Participate mass in the online stream. Don't take struggle, difficulty. Get up early, 6.30, attain the mass. Where are we? What are we doing it? And we are blaming God. We are blaming the nature. We are the own cause for our own sin. Today, what we are seeing, what Jeremiah is saying. And very interesting thing for me today when I was reflecting, as well as yesterday, reflecting on the today's gospel. Jesus says, whatever comes out defiles. But today, what's happening? So many phone calls for me. Keep on washing your hand. Keep on washing your hand. Keep on washing your mouth. Keep on washing table here and there. What's happening? But Jesus says, don't worry of washing your hand. Whatever you're taking inside will not defile you. But what comes out will defile. Are we God the faith? Whatever goes inside my mouth will not bring any kind of virus. If I don't wear a mask, I'll bring a virus. There are people I've seen wearing masks in front of their own husbands. I've seen people wearing the mask and washing the hands, not even using their own children's. Wherever they're sitting, their own plates don't even touch. I was surprised. If you have really this faith, you may speak in the biological medical term, but more than that, a spiritual term is there. Have you any time used, Jesus, wash me by your precious blood, seal me by your precious blood, instead of washing by sanitizer and soap? Have any time we requested Jesus to wash our hands by his precious blood? My dear sisters and brothers, I'm not against anything medical because we have to follow the medical norms and spiritual norms, everything. But what I'm telling is that, have you any time, more than we giving concentration on the sanitizer and soap and the mask, any time have we used Jesus' word? Today Jesus says, his precious blood to wash us, his precious blood to protect us. Yes, the things have been polluted, we have to safeguard ourselves. That keep aside, we have to need, because today everybody is not a Christian, everybody is not following Jesus Christ and having his precious blood. We have to safeguard ourselves, we have to wear the mask and sanitizer. But being a Catholic, being in a family, being at home, when we do our family prayer, have you sealed your doors with the precious blood of Jesus? Have you sealed your bed with the precious blood of Jesus? Have you sealed your children's mouth and body, putting a sign of the cross on them by the precious blood of Jesus? No. We are very interested in putting masks on their faces putting sanitizers, not even touching them. Have you any time touching them, putting the sign of cross saying, sealed by the precious blood of Jesus? That is what Jesus says. Not that what enters in your mouth gives you all the sickness, but what comes out, it's true. But more than that, we have to seal by the precious blood of Jesus. It is the law today says, the blind cannot lead another blind. Is it possible? Jesus is saying that. Those who say, I know everything, Actually, they don't know anything. That is what the Lord says. Today, as we're celebrating the feast of John Maria Vianney,
the patron for all the priests in the entire world, very important for us. We need to pray because a one priest stands a responsible for the entire community because he has got the responsibility of saving numbers of souls and he is answerable to God. The first thing as he stands at the gate of God, the God will ask him the question, not about his sin, not about his whatever, the qualification, what I have studied, my doctorate, my engineering, whatever it is. He will not ask me that. He will not ask me which parish I was there, how many years and what are the position I was there, which country I traveled, where. No. God will ask me, the first question is this to a priest. How many souls have you saved? How many souls did you bring to my altar? How many times avoided myself from the scandals? People to get tempted because of me. Because I stand in the place of Jesus. Because Jesus cannot come to every altar. That's why Jesus anointed the priest. He consecrated the priest to become a priest to offer his Holy Eucharist. Today there are so many feminists want ordination. Why the church has not given that? Jesus cannot become Mother Mary. Mother Mary cannot become Jesus. So God created everyone and he has given the gift of this consecration life, gifts of this ordination life, not just simple. It's a lot of responsibility, a lot of complexity, and a lot of things is there to bring to God the lost ones. Today, as we're participating in the Holy Eucharist, thank God for the gift of this Holy Eucharist that God has given to us. And also let us pray once again, God, restore back the Holy Mother Church and the Holy Eucharist. The people may participate, receive Jesus' body and blood every day, every time in the Holy Eucharist. Amen. Are you Lord God of all creation? Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. You Lord God of all creation, Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the wine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice, yours, may be acceptable, God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and, and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed John Maria Viani, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. Whereas on the festival of St. John Marie Vianney, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, keep her safe in answer to his prayers, and so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts we pray. Be sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, a Pope, Peter, a Archbishop, and all the clergy. Very especially, we pray for all the priests, for our Pope. Let's remember Pope Benedict XVI, Emeritus. We remember Pope Francis. We remember all our Archbishops, Emeritus, the present Archbishop. Remember all the Archdiocesan priests, the priests are working for Archdiocese, all the religious who are working in Archdiocese, and also very specially remember our priests, those who are very sick, got affected because of COVID-19. May God give them healing. And also we place all the parish priests in all the parishes, and the parishioners who are with the parish priest. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection as all the departed ones may receive God's grace, we receive and present them on the altar, the souls in purgatory, the souls of all the consecrated people, and souls in the families, the souls of the parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, and the parishioners who offer the parish priests and the parish priests who are working for them. We offer all the parishioners and all the priests, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Very especially we remember all the departed ones in our families and communities. Have mercy in us all, we pray, Lord. Pray for the families who gathered here, for part of this Holy Eucharist. We also pray for all our parishioners, those who ask us to pray to whom we promise our prayers. Lord, increase our faith. Give us a zeal for Christ and for the Holy Mass and Holy Eucharist. Give us a grace to receive the forgiveness and confession from the Lord and to come back restoring a blessing to the Holy Mother Church, to the entire world, delivering us from all kinds of pandemic, there's all the sickness and viruses. Only your blood can save us. As you promised in the Gospel, what enters will not defile, but what comes out. Give us a grace, seal every lips, every nostrils, and every body to receive your healing, and keep us away from all kinds of deadly pandemic. Very especially we pray for the intentions, those who are offered here, those who are offered, Agnes Shanti Mohan and family, Vinita Nikita and family, and also their intentions. And also we pray, especially those who offered this Mass 
for my intentions, for other priests' intentions, parish council members, and the parish members gathered here. And also we remember Father William Rosario as a gift of life on his day of birthday that given. And very especially, Lord, pray for Nirmala Pradeep and family, and also especially for Remo Jude as you given the gift of life for your son. Continue to bless him, Lord. Receive your wisdom, knowledge, and good health. And bless Jude Vasanthi and family, those who are offered here. And also very especially pray for Lakshmi for a marriage and tell him from all the evil and for all our intentions we place on this altar. Lord, we pray for the intention of Benny, Rosie, and John C. And all the families, very especially those who belong to this parish and to the parish and the families of all the anointed priests and religious. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint John Maria Vianney, Saint Anthony, Saint Francis Xavier, we are pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs eternal life. May praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as every the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, cause at your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus. He says in his mighty name, let our lips and nostrils, a body by sealed by his precious blood. May God protect and keep us safe from all evil and danger in this world. This is the Lord. Come to him. You will find the life. Happy are those called to the supper of this living God. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but, but my only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
an act of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things i love you above all things and i desire earnestly and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself holy to you holy to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen so love my savior sanctify my breast body of Christ be the my saving guest lord of my savior be This is a steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from an eye when all who celebrate the feast day of blessed John Maria Vianney, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you praise for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Anthony. O oh, loving St. Anthony, Anthony, you were a special, special witness of God's power and, and loving imitator of Jesus, Jesus who received, received from God the special power of, of restoring lost things and the patron of the poor. poor. We lift up our prayers to you. We trustfully and confidently ask your aid in our present need. Help all of us in our daily struggles, giving us hope and peace. Pray for us, St. Anthony, so that we may continue to grow in God's love. Intercede for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Wish you all of you happy feast. Same to you, Father. Happy feast, Father. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice.